iPhone SE 3 settings you need to turn off now. We're gonna start with 5G, one of the biggest upgrades to this phone. If you could call it an upgrade. So they didn't include the high band 5G, right? Let's get to the settings. Yep. Open up settings and then tap cellular. First thing to do is tap cellular data options at the top of the screen and then tap voice and data. Your iPhone uses a lot more battery to maintain a connection to a cell network that isn't as well built out, like 5G right now. Mm. If there's not good 5G in your area, turn on 5G auto, definitely at least, and then LTE is the safe bet if yep. you're having any battery issues, and guess what, some people will. Next, we're gonna tap back upper left-hand corner of the screen, back to the main page of the cellular settings, and we're gonna scroll all the way down couple of settings here, iCloud Drive and iCloud Backup, turn these right off. iCloud Drive and iCloud Backup, you don't need to use 5G to use these services. And even if you have an unlimited data plan, which a lot of you do, it has a high speed data cap unless it's extremely expensive. Mm -hmm. and. We don't want to hit that just backing up your files. We want to make sure that your cell phone speeds are fast. Next, we're going to go to the privacy section of the settings app. Tap back to the main page of settings, scroll down, Tap on privacy. First thing we're gonna do is scroll all the way down here to analytics and improvements. Tap on that. A lot of switches here. You could go one by one and turn them all off or just tap that switch at the top of the screen. Boom. Like magic. Did you buy your phone or did they give it to you for free? If they give it to you for free, I'd leave it on like as a thank you. Otherwise, let them improve their product. Yep, let's tap back upper left hand corner of the screen. One below analytics and improvements is Apple advertising. Right now, this is grayed out on our iPhone. It's not gonna be grayed out on your iPhone unless you are a minor. A minor, yeah. And if you want to know why this is grayed out on this iPhone, join this channel and I will take the time to tell you. Next, we're gonna tap back to privacy, upper left-hand corner of the screen, scroll up, tap on location services. Should we turn it off at the top, David? No, we shouldn't, we're not crazy. But you should go one by one through your list of apps. Be aware of the word always. Always means that an app can always track your location even when you're not using the app or your phone. We don't want that. It's really access to your battery. Yep. This always has access to your battery. Facebook always does, Google Maps always does. Even a map application, I wouldn't leave on always. So let's tap into Facebook, for example, while using the app, ask the next time or never. While using the app, probably the best option for most people there. Also be aware of this precise location switch. Does Facebook need your exact precise location all the time? I don't think I so. I don't think so. No. Turn that switch. Precise location, yeah. More battery. Yep. Precise Pre location might be useful though for a Maps app. You know, you need exact directions. Fine. Yeah. Facebook, no. No. Tap back upper left hand corner of the screen, then tap on system services. By default, a ton of switches are turned on. We recommend turning off most of them. So Apple Pay, Merchant Identification, off. off. Sub Network search, search off. off. Compass Calibration. So if you're in a city and using the Maps app to walk around, this can be useful to leave on just so you make sure you're walking in the correct direction. Right. Um, otherwise, not super useful. Yeah, we'll turn that off. And a battery drainer. Yep. As you can see with the gray arrow there, it means it was using your location recently. Device management, off. Emergency calls and SOS, definitely leave that one on. Find my iPhone, definitely leave that one on. Yeah, if you lose your iPhone and find my iPhone is off and you go to Apple because you have Apple Care Plus, theft and loss plan, you're like, hey, I lost my phone. They're gonna say, you, 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 you get, get out of here. here. They are not gonna replace your phone unless Find My iPhone is on. Also, if you just use Find My iPhone, you'll you'll want this switch on. Use it. Just use it. Yeah. HomeKit, if you don't use HomeKit, you don't need this. Location-based alert suggestions, nope, nope. Run for the high hills. Motion calibration and distance, nope. Yeah, probably not. Networking and wireless, we'll turn that off. Setting time zone, unless you're traveling a lot between time zones, uh, you can just come in, turn the switch on when you move to a new time zone and turn it off again. So yeah. just or turn it off. through a time zone. Yeah. Not necessarily to it. Share my location. If you use this feature, you'll want to leave it on. If you don't use this feature, you can go ahead and turn it off. And system customization, turn that off. You will still be able to customize your iPhone even when that switch is off. Right, uh, significant locations is next right now. It's on, it used to be called frequent locations, but that was a little too creepy. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do is turn off the switch at the top. It's gonna say, are you sure? And we're gonna say, yes, we are sure. We're sure. That yeah. off. Not so much a privacy issue as it is a battery issue, but I do think it's weird when I leave this on, I come in here and I see a list of locations I don't even remember being at. It's a little, little weird for me. Yeah, well, that's because I take your phone when you're not looking and drive around. There you go. Yeah. Tap back upper left-hand corner of the screen, 
right here product and improvement improve iphone analytics routing and traffic and maps <laughs> off right yeah the maps improve maps lost cost lost cost at this point as soon as they start paying us for that I yeah i mean if they'll give us a residual for that's what i'm talking on. about yeah. i'm sending you data about routing and traffic which you're using to improve your products which you're then selling back to me mm. here it is for free you should make them work for it yes how about a free Apple Music subscription if you leave that switch on? Or a free Mac. Free Mac, that, yeah. That is that too it. much to ask that for? Might, maybe a little bit, yeah. Might be too much to ask for? An Apple manager once said to me, David, we can't give away the farm. Next up is background app refresh. Before we go there, if you're enjoying this video so far, you'd love it if you subscribe to this channel. Whoa. Yeah, and really, regardless of whether you like the video or not, if you subscribe, we would really yeah. like that. It helps us get in front of more people. The YouTube algorithm is this nebulous thing that recommends us. Yeah. Us, David. Yeah, it recommends us to real people like you. It's very nice of them. It is, and it'd be nice of you to subscribe. Did somebody say background app refresh? I think I did. Let's tap back to the main page of the settings app. Scroll up and tap on general. Then tap background app refresh. So by default, it's on for everything. We don't want that. It allows apps to download content in the background of your phone, even when you're not using your phone or that app. Cellular data, uh-oh. Battery life. Useful for messaging apps, especially you want those messages to show up. Uh, live sports scores, I suppose, too. But yeah. really, really, it's messaging. Messaging. So, Apple Store, for example. Does the Apple Store app need to be able to download new content in the background of my iPhone? No, and it's going to be true for, for most everything. Facebook, no. Yeah, it could be a big drainer. It's just it's going to kill your battery. Yeah. This is battery access. So just go through this list. Turn them all off. We we trust for, we trust you to make your own decisions on this. We're not telling you what app. Otherwise, this video would be years long. Yeah. Every single app. Let's tap on background app refresh at the top of the screen here too. We recommend choosing Wi-Fi. That way your cellular data isn't being used to download all that new content in the background of your iPhone. But if you really reduce the list to a very few amount of apps, it probably won't be an issue. Right, you. right, exactly. Let's tap back to the main page of the settings app for a big battery drainer. One more. Scroll down and tap on mail, one below passwords there. Then tap on accounts and then tap fetch new data. I usually explain this one. Let's let David do it today. Yeah, so we're going to recommend turning off push at the top of the screen. When push mail is on, your iPhone maintains a constant connection to the mail servers asking if there's mail available. Instead, we recommend fetching every 30 minutes or 15 minutes and just reduces the amount of time it's connected to those servers looking for new mail. You are too good at that. Also, anytime you open up the mail app, it will just fetch your emails for you. So it really makes no difference except you save battery life, so. Yeah, you probably won't notice a difference unless you're a doctor and, <laughs> and instead of yeah. getting paged or, yeah. or someone calling you in an emergency, you, you, get, emails. you get an email. Yeah. yeah, SOS, somebody needs yeah. heart transplant. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we're going to go to Safari. Tap back to the main page of settings. Scroll down and tap on Safari. So first up here is preload top hit. When you do a search, that top hit there, first result, most of the time people do click on that first result. Mm -hmm. But do you want your iPhone to load that first result just in case it's something you don't want to read? Yeah, it's just kind of dumb. Again, battery life. Mm -hmm. Data, battery life. Turn that switch. This is using more battery. Yeah, turn that switch off there. And then we're gonna scroll down here to privacy preserving <laughs> ad measurement. Now Your voice sounds great there. That sounds like something you wanna leave on. You don't because if this switch is turned off, then it's not like the ad measurement is privacy betraying. Mm -hmm. In fact, there's no ad measurement, yeah. or there is, but it's not this kind. So this is not sending any data to Apple. If it's on, it's sending anonymized data to Apple and other third-party advertisers. Mm -hmm. Those are some iPhone SE3 settings you need to turn off. Now, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe. Check out our battery tips video too. Some overlap there, but there are some unique tips that will be helpful for you. Yeah, because if you just watch this video, who doesn't want to watch a video that's exactly the same? It's pretty similar, it's but, similar, not but totally it's not similar. the same. And we have other great videos on our channel that yeah. you should check out and join our channel. Talk with us. Talk with David L. Mm. and talk with me. Yeah. You know, tell us which one you'd rather talk with in the comment section below. Is that, is that good That's to get him to great. Yeah. leave a comment? Perfect. See, the point is that we're trying to get you to leave a comment, subscribe, do stuff for us. Yeah, help us reach more people that yeah, way. Yeah, it helps us. Please, thank you. Thanks for watching.